Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackier.com, and today we're going to break down the Scorpion EXO R320 full face helmet. The EXO R320 full face helmet retails from $99 to $109. Please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes, only the product itself has been completely redesigned. There is a lot of value with this helmet. Scorpion built their entire reputation on building high quality, affordable motorcycle helmets. And the R320 is another great example of just that. You stack their stuff up head to head with most every other brand out there in a similar price point and you're going to find Scorpion leads the way with fit, finish, and quality. They do an excellent job making this one of the best options at that $100 price point. Who is this helmet right for? This helmet is right for a street rider that's looking for an affordable, high quality, full face helmet. This is not the type of helmet that I would take for racetrack duty. DOT only certified, in my mind that's not a big takeaway. Scorpion's a quality company and if they're building a helmet to pass the DOT certification, remember that's done on the honor system, the helmet will in fact pass that certification. The EXO R320 is a lightweight polycarbonate shell. This thing in a size medium weighs 3.2 pounds on our shipping scale. Let's go ahead and dive right into sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money with an intermediate oval head shape. Per their size chart, I'm in a medium. I have ridden in an EXO R320 a little bit and I've worn this one at my desk for an extended period of time. The size medium fits me great. Really like the fit of this helmet. They spent a lot of time refining their fit over the last several seasons. I would say this is going to run true to size for most riders out there. Another high point of their fit is the on-off effort is very reasonable while still giving you a good snug fit. The fabrics they use, their Quick Wick 2 liners, really allow the helmet to glide on and off with relative ease. If you plan to use prescription eyewear or you like to wear sunglasses under your helmet instead of using a dark smoke outer screen, this, this helmet is definitely glasses compatible. They do a great job managing the eyewear. Let's dive into features and benefits for the R320. Ventilation is a key feature for any rider shopping for a full face helmet. They have two intake vents, switchable on and off, nice solid action up here on the crown of the helmet. They're positioned to introduce a solid amount of air. In the chin bar, you have a switchable vent. Once again, nice smooth action there. Feels like good quality. This is going to introduce air up onto the shield and into the face area it helps to shield the misting as well as fresh air for the rider. We also have some Venturi style vents here that are going to be able to extract air and moisture from the mouth area of the helmet to keep the rider cool. Exhaust vents are built into these little diffusers here in the back of the helmet. So this, for being a price point helmet, has a solid ventilation system built into it. Shield system. This comes with a clear pin lock ready shield. It is not a fog-free shield, it's a scratch-resistant, pinlock-ready shield. If you need fog-free performance, you're going to want to add on to this the pinlock insert. It's $34.95, it installs on this shield, and pinlock has proven to give excellent fog-free performance. To remove and reinstall the shield, you simply need to raise it into the upward-most position. Once you've got it up, push back. I'm sorry, pull forward on that trigger right here and pull out. Same thing on the other side, grab the trigger, push towards the front of the helmet and pull it out like so. Reinstalling the shield is pretty simple. You want to simulate the upward most position. You got a couple of tabs here on the shield. You need to get those lined up with their corresponding slots and then basically just put a little bit of pressure. Everything's spring loaded, it'll kind of jump right into place. Repeat the process here. A good rule of thumb is, if you have to force it, something is not lined up, okay? You can see here, I had to put a little pressure there on the bottom tab of the shield. So end of the day, it's a good shield mechanism, it's effective. Before you go out and ride it, 
I recommend you actuate it up and down a couple of times just to make sure you have it reinstalled correctly. This shield also includes a lock tab. You pull back like so. It's going to lock the shield in not the full down position, but far enough down that if the wind were possibly able to catch it, and I did not have that happen with this helmet, and want to yank up on the shield, it would stop it and not allow it to blow open. With that said, there's a pretty decent detent here at the bottom. The shield should keep itself in the downward position, even without using the lock. If you need to demist and want to introduce a little bit of air into the helmet with the shield cracked, you push in the other direction, and that's going to give you just a crack there on the shield so you're able to ride, introduce more air into the eye port of the helmet. Interior, we'll go ahead and just pull the shield off for this. This helmet ships with a chin skirt installed. You'll find a lot of the other price point helmets out there. The chin skirt will be an optional uh, piece. It's included with this. That really does help to calm and quiet the air in the chin area of the helmet and make for a quieter ride. Double D-ring retention system, moisture wicking, pretty high-end fabric for a price point helmet. This fabric is super nice. It feels great against the skin. It makes it almost hard to believe that you've got yourself a $100 helmet here. This helmet is also calm ready. If you want to install a Bluetooth device, there is speaker pockets that are molded in both sides. We're going to show you that in the second part of this video. When I come back, we're going to completely disassemble the R320 and give you a close look from the inside out. The EXO R320 uses a polycarbon and injection molded plastic shell. There are two shell sizes. Extra small through medium is the first shell, and then large through 2X would be the larger of the two shells. The interior is completely removable, washable, and replaceable. To remove the chin curtain, you want to grab it here on the edges and just kind of pull out This plastic tab that is stitched to the chin curtain wedges itself between the outer shell of the helmet and the EPS and the chin bar, holds itself in nice and tight. To remove the cheek pads, you want to get your fingers in between the backing of the cheek pad and the EPS of the helmet and release the snaps that are found on the back side of the cheek pad. There are three snaps on each pad. Then grab it here towards the front. I want you to kind of pull out. We've got a little Velcro here. And then we have a channel similar to what we showed you, or a tab similar to what we showed you here with the chin curtain that slides in between the outer shell and the EPS of the helmet. Good quality liner. There's that little piece of Velcro right here just to ensure that it stays down. Here is the location of your three snaps. Mirror image, of course, on the other side. Grab it up towards the front. Pull it out. Top pad removal. We've got two snaps here at the back. Go ahead and get your thumb or a finger in between the backing for the top pad and the EPS of the helmet. Release those two snaps. From there, go ahead and get your hand between the back of the top pad and the inner EPS of the helmet and the crown. Support the helmet against your body and you want to kind of grab and kind of pull up and towards you a little bit. Rock it around. To release the tabs. This one's really in there. This is probably one of the trickier ones that I've had to remove. And it requires a little bit of force. Once you've released it, you can kind of see the tabs they have here. Those are some larger locking tabs. They really are locked in there pretty good. Here's a look at your top pad. The EPS of the helmet. You can see all the channeling and the holes that they have in there for the ventilation of this helmet. There are two large holes up here in the crown area where you're bringing air into the helmet. Those are effective, allow for a pretty large amount of air to move in this, you know, especially for that $99 to $109 price point. If you're going to go with one of the communicators, you can see molded right into the EPS in the cheek pad area, you've got the pockets to accept the speakers which would make this a relatively easy install. All in all, what do I think? You know, it's hard to get super excited about a $99 helmet, but Scorpion does a great job at this price point. You have the ability to pull these apart and put them back together and try all the different models on. 
That's when Scorpion really shines, when they're head-to-head -head with the other helmets. Yeah, there's other brands. HJC makes a really nice sub $100 helmet. Bell makes a nice right around $100 helmet with their qualifier that stack up pretty well against this. But this one just stands out that little bit with the quality. I've always really liked Scorpion and their price point helmets. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I'm here to answer all that stuff for you and make sure you have the best possible experience with your next new helmet.